are ya? Welcome back to my channel for something so exciting. Another solo travel vlog. I am going to call an Uber here in like 10 minutes. My flight's already delayed though, which is usually not a good sign. But today we are going to St. Michael's, Maryland is our final destination. Super random, don't know how I picked it. Really don't know anything about Maryland. I found a hotel that I thought was really cool. And that's exactly how I planned my main trip is I just found a really cool oh. hotel. I don't know, we'll see if I luck out, but we're also flying in and out of Baltimore. So hopefully we can explore some Baltimore as well. My goals are to see sailboats and eat oysters. I I think I've realized that like East Coast summers are my aesthetic, so I'm really looking forward to it. The last couple solo travel vlogs we did, I had never felt more free, more independent, more alive, and now I'm pretty hooked on that feeling, and I think it's been really awesome to see the the growth and the healing that has happened through just like exploring someplace completely alone and doing it for me on my time, on my schedule. You had breakfast. You already had breakfast. A big goal of mine in this in this phase of life of um, you know living alone and not being married I want to do this as much as possible and thank you for allowing me to let's go to Maryland guess where we are we flew into Baltimore, we being me and you, uh, picked up this car. I did it on an app so I didn't have to wait in the line on like the Hertz app. Super convenient, just like scanned the license plate and drove out. That was awesome. And drove about an hour and a half and I'm at the hotel. I cannot wait to go see it, but to quickly catch you up, we are in St. Michael's. I think I mentioned that. This hotel is called The Wild Set. And it looks like it's kind of on the main street. Like I'm seeing a lot of restaurants and shops walking distance. I can't wait to explore, but I'm trying to think back. I cannot for the life of me remember exactly how I found it, but I did reach out to them and ask if they would work with me on this video. And they said, no, <laughs> maybe one day. My goal is to do these enough to where one day a hotel will say yes to me. But nevertheless, um, I'm coming anyways because it looks so dang cute. So I'm going to go check in and their property is spread throughout three different historic houses. So they say like leave bags in the car, come check in so you know where you're going to be. And I cannot wait to see it and do a little room tour. But it looks very Mikel, like the most Mikel aesthetic place that I've ever seen online. Just to show you all, this is what the outside of this hotel looks like. And it's like on the main street, like I mentioned. But isn't even the outside so cute? <sighs> Let's go see. <laughs> I'm in love, I'm in love, and I don't care who knows it. Okay, not to toot my own horn, but I think if I have one strength, it's finding a good hotel. Let me show you this room, just a sec. You walk in, here's the bed. Oh, it's beautiful, guess what this is? This is Parachute, one of my favorite places to buy a quilt. Parachute bedding. Over here, there is a fireplace, little bench seating, TV, porch this way, but first I wanna show you the bathroom. Look at how nice this tile is in here. <gasps> is that not so nice? All the details. The alchemist even. Grown alchemist, more good stuff. And, you know, it's a shower, but it's a very nice shower. Kind of didn't really realize that mine would have a patio and I'm really excited about it. It's a little table and chairs and this gorgeous lawn. They do fires every single night. There's even um, cornhole, right? That's what we call it? Yeah. The branding on everything's so nice too. Like even this little, I almost said cup holder. Uh, uh, I think of what this is called. You know what this is. And the room key. I just love attention to detail. Maybe I should open a hotel one day. I need to focus. We need to find dinner. I'm gonna see if there's anything walking distance. Would love seafood. It's almost seven, I think. So it's like primed. It's seven on the dot. It's prime dinner time. Let's see if we get lucky. Okay, I'm walking to a place called Awful Arthur Seafood and hopefully when i walk back it won't be darker raining might be both but they label gluten-free and they have a lot of oysters it doesn't look super like aesthetic but it looks like it has a really yummy menu and it's an eight minute walk down main street so we're doing it if we get caught in the rain oh well 
I really am already in love with how cute and quaint this little town is. And all the little buildings. Ah! They're closed and I got rained on. <laughs> I'm gonna find a patio and make a plan B. Oh, this menu looks really good and they're closed Tuesdays and I have a reservation Wednesday. So I guess I won't get to try it. What a bummer. I made it back. Um, I got fish and crab. What a delight. And they label gluten free. But before I go inside, look what I noticed that they have. All of the cutest bikes for people to rent. It's 8.30 so it's like officially dark out here. But even the bikes are precious. These little baskets. You can go shopping. I might have to do that tomorrow if it's not raining. But I love my little home for the next few days. Feeling thankful. So every night they have a little s'mores packet and you can take it to the fire and it has graham crackers and marshmallows, which I can't have because gluten touching, but I went and got mine because the chocolates <laughs> are, are individually wrapped. And my plan is it's nine. I have a few, uh, I'll probably do a couple more hours of work tonight, but do work in bed so that we can explore and play tomorrow. With that, good night. I'm so excited for a full day in Maryland with you. We're in now. Good morning from my little porch. Um, it is our first full day here. One thing that I'm learning about St. Michael's is everything's pretty much closed Monday, Tuesday, and a lot of things are also closed Wednesday. I booked this hotel Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday night because the prices of the room were like half the price of Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But now I see why. I'm thinking it's a good day to like try to walk around and see more naturey things. Tomorrow we have sailboating and we have a reservation at the restaurant here, which is like by far one of the cutest spots in town. So today I think we find brunch and we walk around and we see more scenic things since I bet a lot of the shops and restaurants are gonna still be closed today. But I'm great with that plan. I think that sounds awesome. I found a brunch spot that is open called Eat Sprout. Looks like they have like smoothies and healthy things and they label some things gluten free. So I say, let's go check that out. I did go get a coffee downstairs this morning. They have a breakfast set up, but it's all kind of like dairy or gluten based. So not really many options for me. So I am hungry. Let's go find some food. Well, I found gluten-free banana bread. I was kind of hoping for a green smoothie. They didn't have any green smoothies, but this is great. This will tie me over. Very good. With a lot of banana bread in my tummy, I'm doing a little stroll down to the marina. Apparently there's a lighthouse down here that it doesn't look like a lighthouse. It's more of like a house with a light. <laughs> I love sailboats. And there's a museum down here. Uh, I think that that's a great contingency if it starts raining on me today. So I'm gonna walk around and then if it starts raining, probably dip in there. But I bet you there's a good chance, look at how cute this little bridge is. There's a good chance that this might be where I uh, come for the sailboat tomorrow. We'll see. Swim out under a broken sky. Cold sun, colored with shades of white. Wave goodbye to last summer. Cold air coming away soon. So you have to pay for the Martai Museum to see the lighthouse, but to my pleasant surprise, here's the lighthouse. You can go up it. There's like people up there right now. So you best believe that's the first thing we're gonna do. We're gonna go up a lighthouse and look at boats. Wow, what a good day. So this was built in 1879, but it's not the first. The first 
was destroyed by ice in 1877. So I don't know. I don't know when the first one was built, but let's go up a lighthouse, shall we? You can see in the actual house too, and they have it set up like someone actually lives here. And why do I want to live in one of these? I want to live in one of these so bad. We found the kitchen. I'm not kidding when I say I would give so much to own one of these and make it just really cool and live in it and have this be your view. Are you kidding me? And here's the steps up to the very top. Oh my gosh, let's go. We are making our way up to the light. My goodness, <gasps> this is one of the most incredible things that I have ever seen. I, I just, I am rarely speechless. Hi mom, it's me on the top of a lighthouse. I kid you not, I've been up here for 15 minutes. I know I need to go down, but can you imagine like having a rocking chair right here and reading with this view? <sighs> I'm living my coastal grandma era. There's a whole second floor too. See, plenty of space, several bedrooms. Could totally make this work. I met the sweetest older couple. I talked to them for like 30 minutes. Um, the lady's name's Fran and she lives alone in a cottage on the water and she got my number. She's like, visit me whenever. I love her, I wanna be her. But I asked her, I was like, do you have recommendations of where to get oysters? It seems like everywhere's closed Monday, Tuesday. And she was like, let me call my friend. My friend goes every day to get fresh oysters and he has a spot <laughs> and called her friend on speakerphone. And there is a hotel here on the water. Um, that's since it's a hotel, it's open every day and apparently they have fresh oysters. So we have dinner figured out tonight and the antique store I really want to go to is open today. So we have a full day planned out, but I'm still just sitting here watching sailboats. This sailboat is currently uh, docking, which is really fun to watch them like tie up all the sails and everything. Here's another sailboat that's docking right now that piling up there, that's behind it. I, gosh, what is with my new infatuation with sailboats? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I was looking at the map and apparently on this side, which there's more boats, you can learn about oystering in these little buildings, which are like so far away from the rest that I didn't know that the museum continued down here. So let's go check it out. This is pretty awesome. It's very immersive and just like cool to read everything and see everything. There's even videos up there. Wow, definitely, definitely recommend coming to this museum. The most wholesome thing that Fran told me is that she signed up for this club, which people meet here, and then they race these little tiny boats, which are the cutest little mini sailboats I have seen in my life. They all sit up here with their remote controls and, and just race around together. <laughs> and in here you can see crabs in the tank and apparently go down here and learn how to catch a crab. Look at that with that sailboat in the distance. You don't have to try here. Everything's just beautiful as it is. But should I try to catch a crab? Here goes nothing. Oh. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, it's heavy. Oh. 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 No crabs. No crabs in there today. Maybe I'd have better luck catching an oyster. I'm gonna get some oyster tongs and we're gonna try. Okay, here's what I pulled up. Uh, they're all, <gasps> wait, this one's closed? I got one. This one's a closed oyster. The rest of these are just open, empty shells, but freaking got one. Man, if only I could shuck it and taste it, that'd be very fun. <laughs> I'm hoping to find some really unique art at the antique store later, but in case I don't, this print is $7 and it's vintage and it's sailboats. So I think I'm gonna get this from the museum gift shop 
just to make sure I come home with something for sure, no matter what, because I do love that. Sprinted back to the hotel because it was raining and I just knocked out some emails. Look at what the museum had. They had Olipops. So I was drinking one of those, but now I want to hunt down a coffee, probably just in the hotel lobby, go to the gluten-free bakery because they're only open an hour and a half and then go to the antique mall. So we are back out, did enough work to feel like I can escape for a little bit longer. Let's go. Just got a little coffee from the lobby, a oat milk latte and okay, hotel, gluten-free bakery. We're literally that close. Looks kind of dark in there. I really hope that they are open. Uh-oh. There's a sign that says sorry. Oh, they're closed. Oh well, we'll go to the other next door, which is the antique mall, which is right on the other side that we found yesterday. I am determined to find an actual vintage picture painting, whatever it might be, of a sailboat for my wall. Heck yeah, they're open. Let's go inside. These are very cool. They are oyster shells, but they're painted and decorated on the inside. Look at that. That's awesome. Success. I do kind of want to walk around more and see the other antique spots, but I found a picture. He wrapped it up for me. I just now halfway unwrapped it to show you, but this antique sketching of a sailboat. But this one is an actual antique instead of just that print picture that we bought. So it feels great. And also the owner is so cute. He grew too many tomatoes and he was like, do you like tomatoes? I was like, yeah. He's like, please take some. It's like on <laughs> a bag of tomatoes. <laughs> I just needed to kill like an hour or so before dinner to try to get hungry again and I had passed this little marina on the way into town so I just dropped a pen on my maps to try to figure out where it was again and uh, figured I could just sit here and listen to music and look out at the boats and the beautiful view for a little bit. I'm really fulfilling my, my need for boats <laughs> which has been great. Oh my gosh, guys, I was thinking what a bummer it would be to fall in. And then I looked down and I don't even know if the camera can pick this up. Let's see. Do you see all those white little specks in the water? Those are all jellyfish. This one's close to the surface so you can kind of see it. Oh, that would be so bad to fall into this water. I can see like at least four dozen jellyfish from here. I think that's been sufficient boats for one day. And I'm hopeful that Fran's suggestion of the Harbor Inn as a place for raw oysters on a Tuesday will come through. And I say, let's go get some oysters. Then we will have checked off everything on my list. Oysters, antiques, sailboats, gluten-free bakery. That's second tier. We'll try again tomorrow. <laughs> Back at the hotel. The restaurant was a little weird vibes, a little, a little spooky, but the crab cake, the gluten-free crab cake, so good. And it's starting to rain, but I have an hour before I have a virtual therapy session. <laughs> and I think I'm gonna walk to ice cream. My skin, it's already breaking out. So what's a little more sugar and dairy? It's already bad, let's make it worse. I got mint chip, cause it seemed safest. No sort of cookie, caramel, pretzel, cake pieces in it. Oh, the rain's getting worse. Quick little taste test, then I'm taking it back to the hotel. Mm. Mm. This was a good move. Okay, it's raining. Hi, good morning, day three. I left my credit card at the restaurant last night, but I called and it's there. So my plan is pick that up. I think we need to try awful Arthur's, at least for oysters. That means I would have oysters twice today, but I haven't had oysters at all this trip. And then sailing starts at three and I'm so excited for sailing. But my goal today is oysters, sailing, and I placed an order at the gluten-free bakery, found out they're closed unless you place an order, you pick it up between 1.30 and 3. So now I know. So I placed an order last night to pick that up as well. So it's gonna be a food-focused sailing day today, which is kind of like all my favorite things. I'm currently seated at the, the fire pit, um, just kind of doing some little phone worky things. The flowers behind here are beautiful. I might have set up my camera and got, and got a picture. Gotta do what you gotta do when you're solo, you know? That's the plan for the day. 
Let's go get my credit card. All right, we've made it to Awful Arthur's, and this is how you order the oysters. And it's cool because they tell you where they're from, like the type, and then also what they taste like. And I'm kind of thinking of just doing two of each because that's a dozen, and why the heck not? Try them all. This one sounds really good, full-bodied and buttery. Mm -hmm. Guys, <laughs> look at this in, in comparison to my hand, for reference. That is the biggest oyster I've seen in my life. That would be, let's see, two, four, four. Those would be those. That's wild. These are marked gluten-free and I even confirmed they're gluten-free, but they kind of look like they were maybe put in a shared fryer. So I'm gonna confirm, might not eat those just to be safe. Just celiac things, but this is plenty of food. Let's give one of these a, a shot. This one is mild salt, buttery finish. I'm here for a buttery finish always. Oh yeah, I'm a happy girl. This is, this is, I feel like, uh, main things crossed off the list. Being on a sailboat, just an upgraded bonus to seeing sailboats, which was on my list. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. That lunch place was great. The scallops were not gluten-free. They were in a shared fryer, so I'm glad I double-checked. But something really sweet is I was just sitting there <laughs> vlogging, and a guy comes over to me, and he's like, hey, I just wanted to say it makes me really happy to see you like taking pictures and enjoying the food. He's like, my name's Arthur the Third. My father was Arthur. This was his. This was his restaurant. He just passed on Saturday, and so I've been looking for like joy wherever I can find it. And you just gave that to me. And then I was sitting there like crying over my oysters because that was very sweet and heartfelt. I successfully just picked up my order from the gluten-free bakery, and I say we take it to the water and have a little taste test picnic situation before sailing. Let's do it. In my opinion, the Maritime Museum is the best, like, prettiest water access walking distance to where I'm staying. So I was like, I'm just gonna pay to sit there again. And I was walking up, the lady was like, you were here yesterday, right? And I was like, yeah, I was, I'm back. And she's like, it's a two day pass, you don't have to pay. It's like, awesome. So she just gave me a new sticker. But here is a little treat haul of everything I got. They are a certified gluten-free bakery. We have a vegan shortbread cookie. We have a chocolate chip cookie. We have a <laughs> espresso brownie, and probably the one I'm most looking forward to is a lemon bar. I crave lemon bars frequently. Um, should we taste, I think we should taste test at least two. I think the chocolate chip cookie and the lemon bar are the two we should, we should taste. Apparently they ship too, which is awesome. Okay, it's a little, it's a little crumbly, but I kind of like that. That normally means like buttery. Mm. Taste, 10 out of 10. Texture, seven out of 10. A little crumbly. Let's try the lemon bar. Oh, this looks so good. Just a pinch. Oh. Oh. 12 out of 10. I also just noticed there's a man in this boat that's watching me out the window. So move my little picnic spot to this dock. And I know that we've talked about the concept a little bit on my channel of like, nurturing your inner child and doing things for your inner child and one thing that's so small oh i thought that was a bug it was my sticker making a noise one thing that's so small but so specific is there's a bench right there but something about like being able to dangle your feet over the edge of something and just kick them makes me feel like the happy little child version of myself and i am very very thankful to have a little bit of time to eat something yummy and gluten-free dangle my feet and watch boats come in and, and dock. I also just put in my earphones and listen to great music and it's very much like a zen thing to do. Oh, awesome. About to head on over to sailing. Apparently I should have read this sooner. We're literally meeting at the hotel that I left my credit card at and went to go back to this morning and it's the only spot within this town that's not quite walking distance. It's like a mile and it's pretty hot outside, so I do have to drive, but I am picking up a long sleeve shirt because I'm gonna try to limit my sun exposure. And I hope I'll be able to get good footage. Might be a little awkward because only six people go at a time and they only sell tickets in pairs of two. So it's probably literally gonna be me and two couples, but 
here's a hack. They only sell tickets in two online. This is called Sales Selena. But I called and was like, hey, it's just me. Do any of your sales for tomorrow have just one ticket left? And she was like, yeah, I could sell you one ticket. So I was able to buy just one over the phone, which is great. So that's my little hack for you if you're gonna recreate this, but got my long sleeve and we're off. It's time. And this, let's see if you can see it. Can you see it? Is the sailboat. Her name is Selena and I am the fifth wheel, but there's two very kind older couples here. So I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, I'm excited to get on it here soon. Oh, and I breathe in the air fresh from the blessed Midwest I am held by the forest where I go for rest And washed by the waters of Lake Michigan Wherever I go I will return again to my home The blessed Midwest The blessed drop it in the water but this boat was built in 1926 and it's a fully wooden boat and it's awesome that they're like yeah just go ahead and walk to the front look at how big the sail is the sail is a thousand square feet one thousand square feet and i should have worn more spf but breathe in the air fresh from the bus in the west All my sailboat dreams came true. And it's just now like, mm, maybe gonna rain. So the fact that it was clear skies for just those two hours was awesome. Um, and now it's time to rush back and get less, I'm a, I'm a little stinky, let's be honest, I'm pretty stinky from sweating in the sun, but a little less stinky. We had dinner reservation in like 32 minutes at the hotel. The restaurant's called Ruse, and it looks just very awesome, very cool. Um, so a little more seafood to end off our last day in St. Michael's. But I did decide tomorrow I'm gonna to wake up super early. I'm debating between Baltimore or Annapolis to film a solo travel vlog just one full day and either one of those. I think I do Annapolis because it's smaller and safer and sounds more scenic. So that will be coming soon. I'm gonna really wake up and hustle because I think that, that just sounds like a lot of fun get the most out of this trip. So another vlog coming soon. One more last hurrah for tonight for this vlog. I kid you not, that was one of the top five dishes of my life. I'll talk you through dinner because I got a little bit of footage so you don't have to sit through another montage, but the restaurant is so cute. I love that they had a table in the center, like a dining table, and that was the server station. It saved space like on the walls for like booth seating and then it was just very homey feeling, which I really liked. They had a raw bar that they were shucking oysters. So of course I got more oysters. It's a lot of oysters for one day, but the dish that I had was this seared scallop dish on like a sweet corn polenta with marinated tomatoes and like a basil oil, but it was just seasoned to perfection. Oh, it was sweet. It was creamy. It was zesty from the tomatoes and um, like salty, fatty, pan seared caramelized oh my gosh it was so good oh, i also got a mocktail um was just like basil lemon watermelon cantaloupe and habanero which was so good as well i would say the food i've had here has been okay but this meal has been fantastic this is the only spot i would be like you have to eat here out of all the places I've been so far, for sure. Well guys, that being said, I'm going to have a work night, shower, pack up, and head out early to film a probably Annapolis vlog tomorrow. Um, so I'm gonna end this vlog here, but thanks for coming to St. Michael's with me. I'll try my best to link everything I can down below, where I went, what I ate, what I wore, timestamps, all the things to make it easy if you're gonna try to recreate this trip in any way, shape, or form. But solo travel really is like, I have the bug. I, I have been bit. I wanna do so much more in this season of life. So thanks for allowing me to and coming along with me. I love you and I'll see you in another vlog very soon. Bye. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me a sign.
me one more talking to you here we go again staying up all night to see if you've been texting me where do we go from here